Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lynn and in case you're new, you're most definitely welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, come on, check uh, down below the red subscription button, click it and today's video I'll be doing a tutorial or uh, using Muitu products or using the fake products from Dubois, Duboa as you like to call it, it depends with you. So I'm gonna create a smoky look using them products. With no further ado, let's jump into the video. So as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows because I do want this video to be too long. So I'm using this brush. The, the brushes are not muy too because I don't have any Muitu brushes so I'm gonna get in with my concealer it's the pro concealer in the shade point and I'm gonna use it as my uh, eyeshadow base so that the eyeshadow can pop the eyeshadow color can pop also in this video I was thinking of talking a little bit about myself because I realized I do not have um, a get to know me video that should have been my first uh, YouTube video but you get to learn on the during the process you know I didn't know that it's necessary at that time when I was starting my channel and so my full names are Linda Tignari. Yes, I'm from Meru, born and raised there. I schooled there in my primary school. I went to Meru um, Winners Academy. It's a school in Meru County. And then in, for my high school, okay, I'll forget. <laughs> To do what I'm supposed to be doing so for the eyeshadow the crease don't want something so contrasting so I'm gonna go with a warm color which I believe is this we can do this so for my high school I schooled at Mozambique girls it's a school in Rakanizi County and then for my university I went to Kenyatta University and I graduated last year 2018 December and I have a vlog on that so if you haven't watched my graduation vlog go and look at it have a look at it so I'm trying to make the colors more popular for my education higher education that is uh university education i went to kenyatta university i took a bachelor's of education early childhood department and yes i'm out here hustling like everyone else yes so that's it for my transition shade. I, as I said, I didn't want anything too uh, contrasting with the black eyeshadow that I'm going for. I wanted something warm. And now, um, I'm gonna. Before I use the black eyeshadow, you need like something, some black base. I'm sure some of you, or most of you, have heard about kajal yes the kajal i don't know if it's uh, eyeshadow or the eyeliner but for now i'm going to use it it's a mutu it cost me just 50 bob i'm gonna use it right here before my eyeshadow and this helps to intensify the black eyeshadow like i wanna go for that smoky eye the smoky smoke 
the smokiest time. <laughs> I know you're getting what I'm saying. So, so don't worry about the ash lines because when I come with my black eyeshadow on top, we're gonna clean all that up. So, I'm gonna come in with this black eyeshadow right here and I'm gonna blend it in together with the Kajal eyeshadow the Kajal liner I guess oh something else you need to know about me is that I'm a makeup artist self-taught makeup artist I actually learned what I'm doing here on YouTube and I'm continuing to learn every day I'm so passionate about makeup and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon because I'm fashion driven yeah so what I've learned by the way uh, since I started my own company which is elegant looks you can check out my page on Instagram at elegant looks by Lynn and on Facebook on YouTube as you can see it, my page is called elegant looks and what I've learned over the time is that it's not easy and it's not going to be easy no one said it's gonna be easy you just need to keep pushing there are some of those days that I wake up and I feel like I don't feel like doing this life anymore you feel like giving up but again you remember where you come from and you keep pushing yeah the good thing about what I do is that I love what I'm doing so I don't feel like I'm working especially when I go to do my clients makeup I don't feel like work actually I'm usually so excited when I'm going to do that makeup I'm so psyched up you know like I give my all by the way in every client I give my all I try my best and one secret to doing good makeup is blending you have to blend 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 so what i would urge everyone out there is that you shouldn't give up don't give up on your dreams have goals set goals smash them set more you can set at least like short-term goals you can have short-term goals and long-term goals by getting it my eyeliner one side is mascara and the other side is eyeliner so sometimes when i do a smoky eye i usually don't feel the need of having the eyeliner it's black on black oh my god Weh! Struggles of doing makeup. Okay, let's try again. So, again, guys, I'll go off camera and do my lashes I keep messing this thing up why I'm not gonna draw a wing no not today not today girl not today before I go offline off camera I mean I'm using Huda Beauty lashes guys i'm back i've already done my lashes and i'm gonna smoke 
out my lower lashes using the same um, black eyeshadow. And Kajal, of course. So, next, I'm gonna be using my primer, and I'm using Black Up Primer. As I said, these are some of the products that I was using sometime back when I started. Uh, getting interest mm. in makeup and by the way guys I have a short story for you the way I realized or how I grew my passion for makeup so once upon a time I was a model before adding all these weights that I have right now so that is like two years back and okay so i'm gonna do a lot of talking and forget to continue doing my makeup and i don't want this video being too long so i'm getting in with my orange concealer color or the color corrector so i'm gonna put this where i have a blemishes because i don't have a perfect skin i usually tend to break uh on my cheeks my forehead not really mostly on my cheeks so and then i'm gonna get in with my blender so guys how i realized or how i started having passion for makeup so as i was saying once upon a time I was a model that was like two years back and so this this day we had a, a high fashion um, runway whatever showcasing some designers clothes and on this day I had my first professional makeup and I really liked it I loved it actually so during the whole process this lady was doing my makeup i was asking her a lot of questions like so what is that you're putting on my face how does it help uh where can i get it how much does it cost so i was like mm, i'm just a student and you're telling me about foundation worth three thousand four thousand and i was like okay girl all right can i get a cheaper one and then she told me something about the boys but then i never used to do makeup i think i was using lipstick only and powder and most probably i was using baby powder if i'm not wrong hey don't see me like this and say like oh my gosh this girl no you may talk about my friends mbali sana when i was using baby powder on my face after you see firstly so i'm gonna get in with my classic foundation so guys i i, I asked her so many questions and then like she was so helpful by the way and then she was so sweet she answered all my questions and from there i never turned back I just hope the foundation is expired because I don't want to break out by the way. Foundation is tumble sana. I think this foundation cost me around 200 bob. But that is way back. Way back. So guys, uh, as I said during the beginning of this video, 
you don't have to break your the bank to look good I like what I'm saying it's getting I think this foundation has really good coverage I can swear on it as much as it cost me 200 bob it's really good really good now take my brush and tap that into my skin <laughs> this foundation trust me it's better even than some of the expensive original products out there gonna get in with my blender actually I should wet it so that it can blend better using my setting spray so guys I do not have a muitu setting powder so you have to pardon me there so I'm gonna use Suzy Beauty translucent powder in the shade SB20 Who says you cannot slay on a barge? I didn't have much to talk about myself in this video yeah so I'm gonna wipe off all that powder so I'm gonna set my face using the city color setting spray Oh, look at that look at that signature 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 this lipstick was my first ever lipstick to put on my lips and this is in the shade 111 and it looks like that it's been so long I ever used it so guys this is the final look I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial slash get to know me and yeah you shouldn't break the bank for you to look good there's cheap uh, makeup products out there and you can still slay on a budget as you can see the products that I've been using the Mutu products that I've been using they are all of them are less than they are 200 bob and below and you can see they got the work done so thank you so much for watching again don't forget to click the subscription button and the bell notification for you to get notified every time I upload. And don't forget to give it give this video a thumbs up. Till next time. Bye guys.